Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Tal Uno LX from Tal Software. It's been recently released and ported to iOS and this is great news indeed. Um, it, it does not use samples as a, a synth. It actually properly uh, emulate um, different synths and hardware. And, um, and that's great news and um, it, it is really great to use if you want to have back uh, those 80s um, sounds. So in this first tutorial I like to go through the in uh, interface. Um, so on the top uh, left hand side uh, we have uh, control for bit per minute so you click uh, and hold the move left and right to increase and decrease those. We have uh, an an option menu where you can choose your device and test it. You have your active output channels, in this case my headphones. You can choose the sample rate up to um, 48k. You can choose uh, the audio buffer size, which is useful if you have a uh, um, lower spec hardware. You can set um, um, to have um, uh, different MIDI inputs. Um, and you can also use a uh, Bluetooth and MIDI. In this case, for example, I could control to my external controller, Akai. Here you can choose what you, you want to select as a MIDI output. So let's exit here. Let's um, uh, progress with the, um, the view of the interface and the controls. You have your title, you can enable MP or not. Here you have a selection for your preset. When you start it up, you're on a startup preset. So, okay, let's click on start up. You have a new menu where you can save, load the preset. You can go into micro tuning or not, and you can load a um, file if you wish. So, for tuning, reset it or lock it. You can disable program change in output or the audio output. Um, if you have the SFC 60 MIDI controller, of course you can enable that. And at the bottom here you have four banks you can select from. So for example, let's go on Juno Factory Bank A and let's select a base one and let's hear it. Great, fantastic sound. Oh, or let's try another one, for example, string one. Here you have um, a button to a service control for voice tuning, which can be quite handy. It goes by voices that you are playing and you can use it to tune by here. For example, when you play a chord, you can just cut off, tune, attack, decay and release. It can come quite handy. You have MIDI learn option. You click connect, then you click on a control, then you move your external um, uh, control or knob in your external hardware and then you disable it and you've done the sync. You can clear MIDI and you can also lock MIDI if you wish so. Moving on we have a digital control oscillator which means that the oscillator is digitally uh, controlled and for the pitch should be stable. You have three different waves, you have uh, your uh, rectangle, your so and you have um, uh, so, sorry, I would say a pulse, a so, which you can enable together, and also a rectangle sub oscillator. Here you can increase the um, volume for that sub oscillator. Here you can add some noise. So, with our sub oscillator, with and you increase the uh, intensity. Okay, you can enable, uh, as I said, soft and a pulse. Then you have option for the pulse. For example, you can have um, um, the pulse width modulated by uh, the LFO, and when it is in this mode, and therefore you control the intensity on the pulse width uh, with this slider. So. Or you can set it to manual. 
uh, and let's move this down to zero you still have the lf4 active and as you can hear but then you can add poles with manually without impacting the um, modulation without being impacted by the modulation you can set it to environment which will fall of course the envelope uh, sorry envelope no environment um here you have a section for uh, two filters so you have a traditional low pass filter here uh, voltage control um, frequency here you have one pole high uh, pass filter so the high pass filter you can control it by intensity here um, then moving on here on the low pass filter you have your uh, cutoff settings here your resonance you have a switch uh, which can move from normal or inverted envelope here is uh, where you set the influence uh, from an envelope perspective from a lfo perspective and also if it follows keys in terms of uh, affecting the cutoff here you have your voltage control amplitude and you can set it to work uh, to, from an envelope perspective therefore the volume will be shaped by the envelope or by gate of course when it is set on gate the volume will not be um, impacted here you are your envelope your adsr so your attack the case stay and release which you can change on the different sliders you have a section where you can enable uh, chorus effect you have two so you can enable them individually or together here you have a section where it shows you the preset and the parameters that you last changed or the one we are changing. You can transpose keys, you can set the maximum polyphony up to 12 and you can click on the panic of course which will help when things don't go right. Here you have the section on the LFO. You can adjust the rate so for your low frequency oscillator. You can uh, add a delay time, almost an attack to fade in the um, uh, LFO impacting either the uh, VCO or uh, uh, the filter. Here you can set it to run uh, to be triggered by each key or to run freely or to um, be synchronized to your host. You can change the different shape for the waveform to sign, triangle, so rectangle or random. You can set it to manually. If you set it manually, then you will trigger the LFO uh, pressing this button, the LFO trigger down here, and you can have it also as inverted. Here you have your portamento, and you need to enable the time for the portamento to work from a, a timing perspective. And you can also have uh, your poly or not and you have two modes and uh, the first one is when uh, they overlap notes overlap and the second one it, it runs for every note so so let's uh, um, remove the LFO Okay, typical portamento. Here you have other control which establish how the pitch affect um, the pitch wheel, sorry, affect the pitch or the filter in this case here, or how velocity in affect um, the envelope, okay, or um, <clears throat> and how the velocity and MP affect the volume. Here you have an arpeggiator, typical arpeggiator, you can set it on and off you have a sync button and um, you have a mode uh, where you can set it to work as up up down or down you have also additional mode here as played round or up or down twice um here you can set the rate and the tempo you can lock it um from a sync perspective you can hold uh, you can have it to sync to uh, the external midi uh, number 16 you can set it to sync to the midi clock or to the host as well and down here you have master controls and we already went through the LFO trigger here you have your level your tuning and also you can transpose up and down of an octave here you have your pitch wheel and your keyboard okay 
At the moment, there's no macro tuning um, uh, been set. You can go down the keyboard or up, and you can hide or show the keyboard. So this was an introduction to the parameter settings and the interface of uh, Taliuna LX. I hope you find this useful, and as always, see you next time. Bye.